Listen, man, I have a hot take today that I might be holding an L on, but you know what? I'm going for it. I believe that Iron Jugulus is the most underrated Paradox Pokemon in the franchise. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck are you guys doing today? Listen, man, I have another Wi-Fi battle today, and it is going to be featuring our Holucha team that we did build, but this team is so good. There's so much synergy, but there is one member of this team that I haven't gotten to use properly, and that's Iron Jugulus. Being with the like, electric terrain and life orb, this thing hits hard, and I think you guys are just like blind to the fact that this thing is good. So if you guys are hyped for today's live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle, you know what to do. Drop a like on today's videos. It is greatly appreciated. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more content from myself. Listen, man, YouTube is showing that 81% of people were getting there watching this video or previous videos aren't subscribed. So do me a solid. Hit that subscribe button. I promise you will not regret it. And last but not least, be like my boy Demonic Golfer, who is going to be the featured comment of the video. I appreciate you, Demonic. Uh, if you guys do want to be like him, like I said, leave a comment in the comments below of anything that you guys want to see or the secret code word throughout the video and last but not least if you guys did miss the last wi-fi battle there's gonna be a little i code right there go ahead and hit that and show that video some love and without further ado i'm showing you why iron jugulus is underrated and no one appreciates him Alright, let's -a go. Uh, my third Wi-Fi battle. Let's -a go. Welcome, welcome, welcome back everyone to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck are we doing today? Listen, man, I got a super crazy Wi-Fi battle today here with my boy Aaron Plays 3-4. So he hit me up at the Battle Hub Discord, said he wanted to battle. I'm like, you know what? We don't turn down a challenge this way. So uh I believe. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and say this is like a mixed OU team, but you know what? This Hawlucha team that I've been using is killing it lately, so you know what? I am down for the challenge. So, today my man Aaron has a uh, an Iron Valiant, a uh, Lycanroc, a Glamora, a Cerulege, a Corviknight, and a Crocodile. Pretty good looking team. Now, I will say there is a decent fighting weakness, I will say, uh, between the Glamora, the Lycanroc, and the Crocodile. Uh, but I will say here is we do have some really good odds. Now, we do not have a good matchup between the, um, between the, uh, the Corviknight and my team. But that's fine, honestly. I'm not really super worried about it. Uh, he does have rocks setting with the, with the Mortal Spin. But honestly, I'm not really terrified of rocks with this team. Uh, I do need to get the Pinchurin uh, Halucha setup going really fast because that's going to be a good win con. But you know what? That's going to be the team. So if you guys are hyped for today's live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle, you know what to do. Drop a like on today's videos. It is greatly appreciated. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more content from myself. Right? Listen, bro. We are super close to 2,500 subscribers, and it would be greatly appreciated guys, if you hit that subscribe button. And I promise you won't regret it because we try to upload Wi-Fi battles daily. And when I say daily... Maybe a day or two. I don't know. I've been slacking really bad lately. Uh, I got some stuff going on in IRL, but you know what? That's not going to be here to there. So uh, today, he's going to lead off with the Toxic Star, which is going to be the uh, the stupid uh, Glamora, which does stink. But you know what? We're going to get a Chilling Water off, honestly. Um, if he wants to go for Earth Powers, cool. I imagine Stealth Rocks are going to come. Uh, and, and honestly, I just... I'm not really crazy worried about it, so... Okay, on with the show. So, yeah, that's going to be the thing. So, also, there's going to be a code word for you guys to comment on today's video, so make sure you do so, okay? I don't know what this, uh, the code word's going to be, but you know what? We're going to get to it. So, he's going to Stealth Rock here. Uh, not so we're worried about it because we are pretty specially defensive, so whatever this thing wants to toss at me, it's fine. So, um, you know what? I'm going to get my own Stealth Rocks up here. I feel like, honestly, if, if we can get them up, that'd be a pretty much benefit. Uh, where is my phone? Here's my phone. Because I need to get a picture of his team. So, But yeah, man, if you guys do want to use this Halucha team that I built, go freaking use it. This team is absolutely busted. I honestly think when people see the Pin Kirchen, they, they don't expect the, the Electric Seed on the Halucha. I don't know if this is a set. I literally just came up with this, and if someone else came up with it, I'm sorry. I thought I did. But yeah, man, I'm telling you, this electric seed, mwah, and especially paired with a big threat in UU like Iron Jugulus, oh my gosh, man. And slap a light orb on that boy. Whoopsh. Oh, it's been great. All right, so we do get our stealth rocks up. Not too bad. He does get toxic spikes up. Whatever. Let's go for a uh, chilling water. I feel like chilling water would be pretty good. He is going to go for the power gem here. Uh, like I said, that doesn't do diddly squat. All right, that, get that out of here. Now, I do see him going for a mortal spin here. 
I do see a mortal spin coming. The question is, is I don't want to over predict, right? I don't know. I don't want to over predict. Only reason why is because that always tends to bite me. But you know what? I am willing to actually get spikes up. I am willing to get spikes up. So he's just going to continually attack, which is fine. And actually, so power gem, stealth rock, sludge wave. Does he have mortal spin? Not positive. Not positive at all. I need to get a picture of his team. What am I doing, bro? I literally said I was going to get a picture of his team just a minute ago. So, uh, But he is just going to keep continuously attack. So you know what? Which is telling me that I don't think he's going to go for any spin move. I could be wrong, though. Why? I literally want to take a picture of his team. I keep clicking moves. Stop doing that. Okay. He does have two layers of toxic spikes up, which is also a little scary. I'm going to be honest here. Going to be very, very honest. But that's fine, right? So we got the threat out. The threat is out of here. Uh, now, the only thing is, is what's scary. I will admit what is scary is going to be Cerulege. If Cerulege has Swords Dance, I'm not sitting in a great position. I'll be off. I'm keeping a buck 50 with you. He's going to go into Dual Blades. The good thing is here. Oh, is that's actually going to be the this guy. Okay. Interesting. 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 Okay. Um, honestly, it's going to take a good chunk of Stealth Rock and Spikes, too. I think I'm just going to Chilling Water here, even if it wants to Sword Dance up. I mean, like, I can I can continually just... Leaf Blade! Oh, you stinky. You stinky. Okay. Well, right? Well, I do have something in the back. And I think it's time for the Pincher... Uh, the Pinch... The Pincurchin to come in. I think it's his time. I really do. I feel like it's the Pincurchin's time to come in. So I will say is before I set my phone over here, I do need to get a picture of his team, right? I'm not doing anything until I get a picture of his freaking team. Now, unfortunately, we are going to get badly poisoned, which sucks. But the thing is, we can get a thunder or a thunder wave on this thing. Not sitting too bad. Or at least a parting shot. Okay. Dual blades. Ooh, the attack. Ooh. Well, actually, I'm not too worried about it, though, because we can easily uh, outspeed this thing. Okay, let me go ahead and get a picture of his team real quick. Uh, the, the immortal spinning thing is out of here. Um, I will say the Corviknight's going to be a little bit of a bad play if I do lose Halucha. But the good thing is I do have... Mm, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Honestly, actually, would it be a better play of me to go into Hydra, uh, the Iron Jugulus? I'm going to th Thunder Wave here. I'm going to Thunder Wave here. I feel like it'd be a better play. He is going to do... Oh, he's going to withdraw Dual Blades. Is he going to Crooked Isle? Scooby-Doo. Lycanroc. Okay. Scooby-Doo the Lycanroc comes in. Fair. Very fair. He is going to take a little bit of quarter damage, and we are going to get a Thunder Wave off on that thing. I think that looks mint. I think it looks mint. But... Unfortunately, when we do send in... Oh, Haluch is a flying type, so he doesn't get hurt by the freaking... Um, by the by the toxic spikes. W, bruh. Okay. Well, the thing is here is I... I think I want to preserve this thing, honestly. Now, the only thing is if he excels rocks here, we're in a kind of a bad spot. Actually, I think I have to sack this thing off. I don't want to, but I think I have to. Um. Ooh, this is a little scary here, because if I go on, if I go into Hall Lucha and he excels Rock here, I'm not sitting in a good position. Um, let's just get another layer of spikes up. Let's get another layer of spikes. Ooh, he's gonna terrestrialize here, so that does kind of give us a benefit. What does he terrestrialize into? Grass. Okay, so that's actually good for us. Because now, now the Excel Rock is going to be stabbed, and we can get an Acrobatics off. And that Excel Rock's not doing a thing. That is awesome. Okay. I'm actually cool with that. Now, the thing is, is we saw the Excel Rock. I'm going to get a defense boost with Nacho Libre. And a Drain Punch is effective, but an Acrobatics is good. Huh. But I can go into Iron Jugulus, and I can get a, I can get a Hurricane off. You know what? I'm gonna preserve. I'm gonna prefer, or preserve Spiky Boy. He is gonna withdraw. Ooh, what does he go into? Rogue. That looks like a Cerule Edge. A Crocodile. Okay. Actually, 
Not a bad play for us. Not a... Oh, gosh. Wait. Not a bad play for us. Let's go. Because now we can get a big drain punch off. We can get a big drain punch off. And that's going to do a buttload of damage. So you know what? I am down with this. And our defense is going to go up. Oh, buddy. I'm looking A-OK. -okay. And the good thing is if we get a... If we get our tar uh, terrestrialization off... We're looking A-OK. -okay. So this thing is life orb. Or not life orb, but leftover. So that's good to know. Dude, I might have to terrestrialize here. Do I terrestrialize here? No, I'm going to save it. I'm actually going to save it. And the only reason I'm going to save it is because if I do still have the Iron Jugulus in the back, it would be pretty nice to turn into a Steel type because then Excel Rock doesn't hit me. And then Brave Bird or Iron Head from Corviknight isn't doing a lot. And the good thing is here is we are going to be able to outspeed this thing. So I'm not worried about it. Because I do want to get Iron Jugulus to go hard. So unfortunately, this Quark Drive is going to drive me absolutely insane. But, oh, that didn't do anything. But the good thing is we have the Acrobat, so we're not, we're not worried about it. We're not worried about this thing at all. This thing is the least of our worries. So, you know what? Acrobatics time. Because I do, I, like, I do want to get off... I do want to get Hydreigon, or not Hydreigon. I keep calling this thing Hydreigon. I hate these Paradox Pokemon because I call them what they originally are. But the Hydreigon... I literally... We talked about this. I'm talking about the Iron Jugulus. I want to get the Iron Jugulus to work. I want to show it off in the Electric Terrain. So I think I'm going to let this Electric Terrain uh, electric terrain wear off. Oh my gosh. Buddy is making the plays, bro. Buddy is making the absolute plays. Let me check how many turns of Electric Terrain I still have. I do have Electric Terrain for three more turns. So, you know what? I am cool with getting Drain Punches off on this thing. Because, honestly, we outspeed everything on my man's team. We outspeed everything on his team. And, honestly, I'm just cool getting Drain Punches off. If he wants to go for a Brave Bird, that's cool. He's going to take some residual damage. I think we live... I, honestly, I, I believe we live a Brave Bird. Drill Pack! What in tarnation? All right, well, either way, we're going to keep getting Drain Punches off, honestly. Surprising enough, he doesn't have Brave Bird. That's a little crazy. Well, the good thing is we're going to be able to lift two of these. We are going to be able to lift two of these. So that's good. Drill Peck? Huh. No, we're not! Oh. That changes a little bit. All right, well, either way, I think it's Iron Jugulus' is time to shine. So you know what? You know what? We're switching into the boy. Now, unfortunately, we do only have two turns of the electric, uh, electric terrain up, but that's fine because, honestly, I'm cool with... Dang, why is Corvanite so big? I just realized. Oh, my goodness, my man. Okay, but I did, like I said, I did realize that I do have two turns, but I still have the pin, the pin, uh, Kirchin in the back, so I can just switch that out and then rotate it. So, you know what? I think, honestly, I'm just going to flamethrower here. Uh, we do get the flamethrower off. Perfect. That's good. And the good thing is we can literally outspeed everything else. We can outspeed everything else. And the good thing is... Actually, I'm not going to say the good thing. But hopefully he doesn't go into the... Um, hopefully he doesn't go into Ledge here. If he goes into Ledge here, it's going to be kind of a bad time. But I do believe I outspeed... I do believe I outspeed the Cerulege, but let me double check because I never know this thing's speed, honestly. Cerulege, Cerulege has a base 85 speed, so we for sure outspeed that thing. The only thing that we're not outspeeding for sure is going to be the Iron Valley. But you know what? I'm willing to sacrifice that. And, oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. You ready for this? This is our time to shine. This is our time to shine. I need to hit this, though. I need to hit this. I need to hit this, bruh. Because it's ex now that we're going to Terrasize this, Excel Rock's not going to do anything, which is good. Okay. Iron Jugulus, I need you to do work. I need you to do work, man. <gasps> the Paralysis! I am so sorry! No, but I missed mine! No! Dude, that's karma! That's the most anticlimactic turn in Pokemon history! Oh my gosh. Dude, I just realized I am Akatsuki out. I got the Akatsuki necklace. I got the, the windbreaker on. The crit! We talking crits? 
We talking crits out here? Ooh. Does a Shadow Sneak take us out in this range from a Cerule Edge, I just realized. That crit actually kind of mattered. And I'm losing Life Orb damage. Hmm. That's a little interesting. Geraldo. Okay. So it's going to be this guy. I'm a little nervous for... Oh, wait. Oh, I was like, is Pinkurchin dead? <sighs> hmm. I got a feeling he's going to bitter blade me. So you know what? Let's just go for the dark pulse. Pray we live. Oh! Ooh, I didn't realize he wasn't not going to go for the shadow sneak. Iron Jugulus looking kind of clean, though. All right, he's going to send out Rogue. Rogue is going to be the this guy. Okay. What can I do to this thing? I think Hurricane's probably going to be our best bet. I think Hurricane's going to be our best bet. Oh, this is his last Pokemon. Oh, we killed the... the yeah, we killed it. Mmm. We get a Stab Flash Cannon off. Or we get a Hurricane. Oh, wait a minute. This Moxie might be a little dangerous. This Moxie might be a little dangerous, actually. I need to kill. I'm going to go for a Stab Flash Cannon. I just realized this. Oh, my gosh. I need this to kill. If this thing is scarfed, I'm not in a good position. Oh, we kill easily. Iron Jungulus, you looking tasty today, my boy. All right. Well, either way, that was a great game, Aaron, honestly. Oh, my gosh. That that just that, that had me on my toes, brother. That had me on my toes. So, uh, but like I said, GG to my band, Aaron. If Aaron has any links, I will be sure to put them in the description below. His name is Aaron Plays 34 so it does look like he does play some video games. So, like I said, if he has any links, I will be sure to put them in the description below. Go check him out. Uh, and if he doesn't have any links, then go battle him in the Battle Hub Discord. There's going to be a link in the description below. That's where I always get all of my battles from. Shout out to my boy, Just Weavile, for hooking it up. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. So, like I said, drop a like on today's video is, is greatly appreciated make sure that, that subscribe button so you don't miss more content from myself and last but not least leave a comment in the comments down below secret word is going to be is iron juggler this got that gawk gawk all right he got that gawk gawk <laughs> you don't have to put that but just put iron juggler for is the goat or something i don't know so but yeah like i said we went three and oh with this team man that's absolutely insane like i said you guys need to be using this team in your UU wi-fi battles if you guys do want to use it, there is going to be a rental code in the description below go check it out i will leave it up for a good while and last but not least i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here so please have yourselves a great morning night evening day wherever you're at and i'll talk to you guys later peace